Hi, this is Olivia from Olivia's Looms and Crafts, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the six pin fish tail. So what you're going to need is a loom in this position. I, you can take off this, but I choose to leave it on. It's just easier to put my loom back in formation. Next, you'll need a hook and an S clip or C clip. I'm going to slide these over here. I'm going to be doing my bracelet just random colors that I take from this pile. Okay, so let's get started. This bracelet takes a lot of rubber bands, so make sure you have a lot of rubber bands ready. So you're going to first twist it from this peg to this peg, making an infinity, infinity sign or an eight. You're going to take your second color and twist it from here to here like an infinity sign. Then you're going to do that again. Here, let me not do the same color. To twist it here. And then here. And then you do that on the bottom. And then push them all down. You want to make sure they're in order and not twisted up like this. Okay, so this is what it will look like when you're um, done placing those twisted rubber bands. Okay, then I'm going to take a, like, pink. No, I'm going to take green. And go over all of them. Like that. Then you're going to take a second rubber band, push this one down just a notch, so you have room for this one, put it over them. And then you're going to take your hook, grab these two white ones, and loop them over. Then these, um, not two white ones, this is blue and white, and then blue and purple. You're looping the two on the bottom that are twisted. Over there, over there, and then over there. And then you push them down and put on your next color rubber band. Take green. And this time you do not loop up two, you only loop up one, the green. Then here, you're only lifting up one, the one rubber band, which should be green on the bottom. Sometimes they're a little tough to get. Some of them are toughies. There you go. And a little bit after maybe 30 rubber bands over, you might see it starting to form. So I'll do this with you three more times and then I'm going to come back with halfway. Only looping the one rubber band over. Push them all down. Another rubber band. Put over all of them. Grab only the green on the bottom. Push them down. 
Now it's really starting to look like a gummy bear, sort of. Here's the two ears, little head, arms, and the legs. This is what it looks like after um, two looping with one, and then on the bottom, it was the two loopers. And then you're going to take your next rubber band, put on, put it all over all of them. Only grabbing the blue. Make sure you don't stretch them like really far like that. You just want to keep them in. Because then it will pull the rubber bands off the peck and you don't want that. So one more. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to come back with halfway with the whole like with the bracelet probably up to here. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next step, taking it off the loom. It's like easy, simple. So you're going to loop this green. So there's only one rubber band left on your loop. Here's one. I need to push this back down. Okay, so next you're going to take this rubber band over to this one. So there's two rubber bands, two pinks on this one. And you're going to take this one over to this one, push it down, just a notch so it doesn't slip off. And then this one, the, this one. So it forms a triangle. Then you're gonna take your next color and go all over these. It forms a triangle pattern like this. Okay, so next you're going to take your hook again and grab these two bottom ones and loop them up. Then you're going to take these two bottom ones and loop them up. Then the last two, up. Next you're going to take this and put it on this back. Then take this, put it on this back. Now you're ready to clip. I'm going to take this C clip. It's sort of hard to get them on. Let's get them on all three. I think I got the one. No, I missed one. And now you can take it off. And there. Okay, then you have it clipped and, and you can you need to pull it tight at this end. Just pull it in this section over here and then it, it tightens. Okay, so now we got to transfer this part back onto the loom. Okay, so this is a little bit of a hard part. It's a toughie, but you're going to take these outer rubber bands and transfer them back onto the loom. I'm going to show you a nice and easy way to get these back onto the loom. It's um like not really hard if you just take your time. So I'm going to slip this into here. It just holds it. You can pull it out a little more if you want so you have room. And you're going to grab these two outer rubber bands and stretch them to there. Take these two, stretch them, ooh, lost them. That will happen along the way. It gets harder as you go getting these on. Ooh, it's a little tilty and I got them, so I'm gonna turn my loom so I can get these. Ooh. Then I'm going to take 
these. And this is one of the harder parts. Getting them all the way back up here. That was very risky, but it was possible. Then very hard as we go as I said it would get but then to stretch it back up there then our last one is the hardest I knew I say this would be easy but it is if you take your time on this one just more in to the bracelet. Okay, so as you can see, I got the last two. They're very tight in there, but if you just be patient, you can get them. You're gonna, oh my gosh, I think they're stuck. Stretch them there. Okay, so. Okay, so I did that last one, and now it's time to cut these off so they don't confuse you. I'm using scissors, but you can use, you can rip them too. You just wanna snip them off. Maybe this one. Oh, this is gonna hurt if I pull it, so be, be careful with that. There, there. That didn't really hurt, but yeah. Ow. Yeah, just like that. And then they're all off. Then it's back on the loop. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing that we did before to loop the scent, the white one, and go looping these pink ones back over. Bottom rubber band. There should only be one rubber band left on the loom. Push it down. Next, you're going to grab this and take it to here, then this one, take it to here, and then this one, and take it to here. Then it should look like a triangle. Then take your next color, which I'm going to use this blue. Oh, I'm going to push this one down. And I'm gonna go all over these. Then you're going to loop these two bottom ones up. And these. And then you're going to take this one and loop it over. Okay, so now that I got the sleeve clip on the other end, I connected it to this end. So now you can pull it off. This is the finished six pin fishtail. It, um, you have to stretch it out because some might be hanging. You just stretch. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Subscribe. Um, bye.